Good morning and praise the Lord. I trust the Lord that you are having a good morning and your day is beginning up well. This is the day that the Lord has made and yes, we choose to rejoice and be glad in the day called today. Now, I want to read a very common verse which uh, we quote time and again and then we'll just share from the same in the name of Jesus Christ. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 13, the last verse, that is verse 14. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. This is my prayer for you in this day. That may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, this grace that has been revealed unto all men, may it keep you through this day and every day of your life. May this grace that has, uh, has given us access to the throne of grace, this grace by which we are saved, may this grace keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this grace which Paul talks about, that he is least of them that deserved it. And even you and I would say of that. But grace gave us a, a, a platform. Grace gave us identity. May that grace be sufficient for you in everything that you do. May grace be multiplied for you in every endeavor. May grace be sufficient for you in every step of your way, in this journey and in everything you do. May the Lord grace you through it all in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray again, that let the love of the Father, the amazing love of God, the unconditional love of the Father, the love that gave its, I mean, gave all for us, that love that will never run out on us, that will never dry on us, that will never be quenched by anything. This love which Paul talks about in the book of Romans chapter 8, that what shall separate us from the love of God? This love that is sure, this love that is solid, this love that is everlasting. May you experience his love in every day of your life. May you remember that you are loved of God. You are loved with an everlasting love. That is your father telling you today, I have loved you with an everlasting love. May you never forget his love. May you never doubt his love. And may you continually walk in this love and experience it in every area of your life. Know that the father loves you and know that the father calls you precious. The father calls you treasure. The father calls you his own. You belong to God and you are eternally loved by the father in the name of Jesus Christ. And above it all, may the fellowship of the Holy Spirit of God. I love the fact that when Jesus was living, he told the disciples, it is good for you that I go because when I go, I will send you a helper. Jesus was with the disciples or with the people and he, it was limited mostly to geographical location. But when the Spirit came, the Spirit of God abides in us. That is the presence of God in us. So I pray that you will encounter that fellowship on a daily basis. You will encounter his fellowship. You will encounter his communion. You will encounter his participation in every area of your life. You will experience his, his contribution in every decision and everything that you do. That when you need to make a choice and a decision, he will direct you. I pray that he will be that counselor. He will be that comforter. He will be that teacher. He will help you discern things. He will help you make decisions. He will help you in everything you need to do every step of the way. He will comfort you. He will encourage you. He will strengthen you in the name of Jesus Christ. So this day, yes, I pray for you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the very love of the Father and the very fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. May you never miss out on what you have and that is there's is a grace that works for you there is a love that is everlasting and there is a fellowship that is daily 
just for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Have an amazing day. Have a grace-filled day. Have a love-filled day. And have a spirit-filled day in the name of Jesus Christ. Shalom. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord sustain you and continue in his fellowship even by his spirit in Jesus' name. Shalom. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. See you tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen.